This model test demonstrates the sliding behavior of various solid substances placed on a surface whose inclined angle increases continuously. We are going to test different surface finishes which can be used in the inlet chamber of a pump installation. An actuator continuously increases the inclined angle of the surface to test the sliding behavior of specimens on different surface finishes. In this test, we would like to investigate the slide-off angle of stones of different sizes and roughness, pieces of broken glass of different sizes, and various parts made of metal. In the first part of the test, we will investigate the specimen's slide-off angle on a surface made of polyethylene. The first specimens to start sliding are the parts made of metal. They are directly followed by the small pieces of broken glass and pebbles. Then the larger pieces of broken glass start sliding. The last specimens to slide off the surface are the large stones with a rough surface. In the second part of the test, we will investigate the specimen's slide-off angle on a surface made of ceramics. We are using the same specimens as before. The first specimens to start sliding are the parts made of metal and the small pebbles. They are directly followed by the small pieces of broken glass and the larger round stones. Next, the remaining pieces of broken glass, parts made of metal and most of the stones slide down the incline. The last specimens to slide off the surface are the larger stones with a flat surface. In the third part of the test, we will investigate the specimen's slide-off angle on a surface made of concrete. Once again, we are going to use the same specimens as before – stones, pieces of broken glass and parts made of metal. The first specimens to start sliding are the large pieces of broken glass. They are followed by the parts made of metal and by small pebbles. Then the small stones with a rough surface and the small pieces of broken glass start sliding. The last specimens to slide off the surface are the large stones. When we perform the three parts of the test at the same time, we clearly notice that the specimens start sliding at a much smaller angle when they're placed on a smooth polyethylene surface than on any of the other surfaces. Smooth polyethylene surfaces prevent deposits of rough materials even at inclined angles below 40 degrees. Concrete surfaces, however, need to have an inclined angle of more than 45 degrees to prevent deposits. The requirements for the design of suction chambers which prevent deposits are stipulated in the applicable recommendations, regulations and standards.